mother, 19, stabbed boyfriend during sex after telling him men should only be used for human sacrifice. Well, I agree with her on that last part. A young mother has been jailed for 11 years for stabbing her occasional boyfriend as they had sexual intercourse after texting him to say men should only be used as human sacrifice. That's a crazy bitch right there. Zoe Adams, 19, has dressed up as a clown. I t I'm telling you, these people that want to dress like clowns, they're not right in the head. Clowns are, they're, they've got a lot of negative demonic energy clowns. They're very, ugh. Ugh, I hate clowns. Ooh, I can't stand clowns. Zoe Adams, 19, has dressed up as a clown and put a pillow over Kieran Bewick's head to make sure their encounter to make their encounter more exhilarating on July 29th last year. In what she described as an overreaction, she whispered, trust me, to the then 17-year-old Bewick before stabbing him five times in the chest, arm, and thighs with a 10-inch knife, collapsing his lung. Now, anytime a woman tells you, trust me, run for the hills. Anytime anybody says, trust me, you got to go, wait a second, why are you telling me, why you got to tell me to trust you? Like, what, what's up with this? That's cat crunching going on over there. Having seized Adam's iPhone, the court heard of images. Wait a second, the court can't see somebody's iPhone, can they? She had saved on the device, which included blood-soaked woman with the caption, murder is like a bag of chips. You can't stop after just one. This bitch is out of her fucking gourd. The device also had a text message to her victim reading, I don't think about males unless said male is strapped up and being used as a human sacrifice. You should be grateful you're not part of it. If some bitch ever texts you a message like that, are you going to run over and fuck her? Probably. I'll tell you why. Because crazy bitches are the best lays. So I could see why the guy did it. He was probably like, this bitch is crazy. I bet she sucks a mean. But you're also rolling the dice. Because then you might be looking at uh, a psycho stalker, whatever. But, uh, this bitch was clearly not right, and the guy fucked her anyway. So, so who's to blame? The crazy bitch or the dude that fucked her? Like, listen, I know a rattlesnake won't bite me, so I don't go poking rattlesnakes. If a, if a psycho bitch sends you a text message that says something like this, then you need to not poke that rattlesnake. You, you got it. Am I making myself kind of clear, I hope? In the victim's impact statement, Mr. Bewick said, Best fuck I ever had. No, that's not in that. I, I just made that up. I struggle with the knowledge that someone I genuinely cared about would do this to me. But having had time to think about it, I'm convinced that she planned it. It wasn't personal. She was going to do it to someone, and it just happened to be me. Strangely, that makes it easier to deal with. This guy's kind of goofy, too. Oh my gosh, look at this crazy bitch. She got the crazy eye. Are you ready for our date? <laughs> I did stab him, but I overreacted, she told the court, dismissing the evidence found on her mobile phone as a joke. Hilarious joke, lady. <laughs> I want to talk about killing somebody and then actually try to do it and then say, ah, I was just kidding. Okay, well, is, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? I plead just fucking with you. Sorry, but that ain't gonna fly. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about that crazy person. Hope you're all having a great week.